This is the worst part of the job. You get a call from someone and they sound desperate. In this case, it's the daughter of an elderly woman named Margaret Bergman. Ms. Bergman is a retired school teacher, lives in a nursing home, and has trouble breathing. Her daughter's got her hands full of raising two kids of her own and trying to take care of her mom, too. She called us after visiting her mom one afternoon. She found a lot of mail from the Spanish sweepstakes, the London Lotto, and the Australian Lottery. Her mom's checkbook had a lot of entries for tickets. No deposit to the winnings, though. Names are different, but I've heard this story before. The scam is simple. Crooks tell people they can make money playing the lottery in foreign countries. They promise better odds, tax-free winnings, and make it easy to play. And hey, you can call their toll-free number, send them a check, or use your credit card. <laughs> Some of them even set up websites. They promise to hold the tickets and send your winnings overnight. Yeah, they promise a lot of things, but deliver nothing. Their slick ads don't mention that it's illegal to play a foreign lottery in the United States. That if you play even once, your name will go on a sucker's list, and you'll get a mailbox full of scam offers. Yeah, they also forget to mention that instead of winning, some people lose everything. It's the worst part of the job. The best part is putting away the people who do this. Now, I didn't know who had taken Mrs. Bergman's savings yet, but I knew his luck was about to change. I'm celebrating here. Look, if you come to my office tomorrow, we can discuss this. Mr. Bruno, let's not make this difficult. Jim, you want me to call my lawyers? They know how to handle this sort of thing. Oh, just make sure Teresa gets home, okay? I'll call you later. Well, this is ridiculous. What, what, Mr. Bruno, I'm going to talk to you now, okay? The policy that we've talked with everybody. Okay? What, you wouldn't know if I... Mr. Bruno, I asked you to make any sudden move. My lawyer will have your badge, Inspector. Drop out, get your weapons on you, too. Mr. Bruno. I might be willing to discuss a plea, but of course that would depend on the information that you have for all of us. So I would suggest that you just answer the inspector's questions and then we can talk about your situation later. I might be willing to drop the RICO game. Why don't you give us the rundown on this Australian lottery? How does this work? Uh, well, it's, that's really quite simple. We uh, print up these flashy brochure and then we send it out to our list. What list? Well, you know, our, our mailing list. Older people, usually. Retirees, uh, snowbirds vacationing in Florida, that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, we tell them that they can play the lottery in Spain or, or Canada, or Australia. We tell them that the odds are better playing the lottery overseas than if they played the Powerball here in the United States. So people will buy 10, 20 tickets. Then once they buy it on that one, We'll put them on another list, a new one for suckers. And we'll send them another half dozen mailings, usually, telling them about uh, the Irish sweepstakes or the English lotto. Usually they'll bite on that one, too. So you're strictly small time, just a few bucks here and there. <laughs> Hardly. See, once we really get them to bite, then we call them and tell them they've actually won. Only we need a couple of thousand dollars to pay off the taxes on their winnings before we can send them a check. You'd be surprised at how easy it is. So what's your role in all this, Mr. Brunin? And we know the checks don't come to you. 
Not directly, anyway. Well, I'll usually set up a small shop somewhere, give it a fancy name like International Exports Incorporated, and hire a couple of guys to pick up the mail, cash the checks, maybe somebody else to work the phones. Then what? We'll add their name to the suckers list and then sell it for big bucks to another operation. You realize you're talking about organized crime, don't you, Mr. Brennan? <laughs> okay, this isn't The Sopranos, all right? These are just a couple of people exchanging legitimate mailing lists, which is not against the law last time I checked. It doesn't bother you taking money from these people? Why should it? These people are greedy themselves. They've got piles of money lying around and they want to get rich quick. It's my duty to take this money from them. Besides, if I didn't do it, some other guy would. So if you're through sitting in judgment, let's get to the chase. Do we have a deal or what? <laughs> Mr. Brennan, you haven't told us anything that we don't already know yet. I'm going to need a list of all your associates, including the names of the folks that gave you this mailing list and those that you sell it to. We'll see what you have to trade and then we'll discuss a plea. Write it up. Check back in a few minutes. Okay. Currently, Brunin's serving five years in a federal prison as part of his plea agreement. Unfortunately, postal inspectors intercept millions of pieces of mail every year promoting foreign lotteries, but many more make it through to consumers and trick people into the scam. There are some simple steps you can take to avoid becoming a victim. One, remember, it's illegal to play a foreign lottery in the U.S. If you do, you're breaking the law. Two, there are no secrets to winning a foreign lottery. In fact, the lotteries themselves usually don't even exist. Three, if you purchase even one ticket, your name will be added to a sucker's list, and you'll start receiving lots of offers from bogus lotteries or investment opportunities. These crooks actually buy and sell these mailing lists to aid their scams. Four, keep your credit card numbers, bank accounts, and other personal information to yourself. Scam artists often ask for these on the phone. Lastly, if you think you've been the victim of one of these scams, you need to report it. Contact your local United States Postal Inspector. You can find us in the phone book or on our website at usps.com slash postal inspectors. Remember, if you're tempted to play a foreign lottery, you won't win anything. But you may lose it all. <laughs>